This is where the future of space exploration is being built. The colossal Starship and its super heavy booster. The scale of these internal components is staggering. This stainless steel tank section alone weighs tons. It all starts here with the raw material. We conduct rigorous quality checks on every roll of steel. This heavy duty machinery takes the raw steel coil and through a precise leveling process, transforms it into usable plates. The precise nature of this hot rolling process is absolutely critical. It ensures the stainless steel sheets achieve the ex Using advanced tools like this CNC laser, we achieve the high precision cutting required for every part of the rocket structure. The large steel sheets are lifted by the magnetic crane. Our team ensures the controlled movement of this thin yet massive panel. The critical procedure involves carefully curving these flat panels into the precise cylindrical tank sections required for the booster. We see the meticulous process of measuring the fresh weld seam. We demand extremely high standards for all structural welds. This initial segment requires not just heat, but the skilled touch of a seasoned professional to ensure structural integrity. The narrator notes the shift to automated, computer-controlled precision welding. The non-destructive inspection is a critical phase. Our rigorous quality control process utilizes advanced technology. We are witnessing the hot rolling process, where material is added to the massive steel rings. The heavy press... So, this finishing step is crucial for the rings. We use an angle grinder to smooth the rough weld beads, ensuring perfect... This vast space is dedicated to the storage and movement of these massive components. The sheer volume you see is... By utilizing this innovative robotic approach, we can achieve internal structural welds with unprecedented precision, as demonstrated here by the KUKA arm. As you can see, the coordinated automation of these KUKA systems is driving unprecedented high-speed rocket construction here inside the tank section. This is the dome forming process. The heavy-duty press rapidly descends forcing the thick, lubricated metal zealous. To finalize the dome and shaping of the largest components, the hydraulic press exerts immense force. Now that the dome has been formed, our team of experts is conducting the initial inspection to ensure the highest quality standards are met. Structural welding on spherical pressure vessels demands specialized tools and techniques, often utilizing advanced robotics for precision. The precise human effort required for these complex internal assemblies is evident as the team secures the massive pipe section within the tank. Another example of high-pressure tank detail. This meticulous work is necessary for the high-pressure cryogenic systems. The lowering of this dome marks a major milestone in the construction of the propellant tank bulkhead. The team is ensuring perfect alignment. The norm of such, such as delicate structures requires intricate logistics and absolute precision, ensuring the alignment of the tank segments is absolutely critical. It ensures a seamless rocket body, essential for mission success. The automated welding of the conical nose section represents the final pressure vessel shape achieved through this high-speed, precise process. The transfer of the large tank segment is underway. We maintain our focus on efficient material handling and precise section assembly. The stacking of these structural rings demands absolute precision. Each massive section must align perfectly. This tool is essential for the initial structural tests, ensuring the integrity of the completed tank sections under extreme stress. The automated girth welder is utilized for the final stage, traveling along the exterior to complete the critical circumferential seams. This is the cryogenic propellant tank. The ribbed internal structure you see is engineered to con- Here we see the intricate process of installing the internal plumbing. This detailed assembly, including the vortex reducing baffle. The fibonic lift wheel. This conical nose section requires meticulous smoothing. Our technicians use orbital sanders. This is the first application of the heat shield. The Starship's unique thermal protection system utilizes these hexagonal tiles. While the main girders take shape, the team focuses on fabricating the smaller but essential secondary structures right here in the workshop. Chris Harris, this automated welding machine moves across the large steel sheet, performing multiple spot welds to affix the internal ribs. As you can see, the plasma cutter is slicing a large rectangular opening into the hull. 
This is how we create the major access and payload openings for the tank. Servants. The team is currently assembling the complex actuation systems for control surfaces. This electric motor and gear assembly. The installation of the main engine mechanisms demands surgical precision. This complex assembly forms the pivot for the laggers. The installation of these massive control vanes is critical for atmospheric re-entry. It requires careful alignment, sometimes assisted by... The functional testing of the completed control system is underway. We are verifying the precise range of motion as the flap articulates inward and then back out. The assembly of the booster's large landing structure requires extreme precision. These massive structural components form the crucial catch mechanism. We are now installing the catch point mechanism. The complexity of this quick connect and disconnect interface ensures mission success. The internal plumbing is a marvel of engineering a complex network designed to handle the precise flow of both fuel and oxidizer. We are currently performing the hydrostatic testing of the pressure vessel designs. The pressure is increasing from 3 and 8 bar. As we can see, the Starship upper stage is being carefully moved from the factory. This marks the movement of a major flight component to the launch site. This marks the start of the engine manufacturing phase for the powerful Raptor. Molten metal is carefully guided into the casting molds. Greater. This green flame of the first ray is approved. This green laser system to achieve unparalleled precision, cutting intricate organic. Following the print, excess material is removed from the advanced lattice structure. This meticulous post processing ensures the integrity of the engine component. Microscopic precision is paramount in the assembly of these components. The slightest deviation could compromise the entire engine's performance. While machines handle the bulk of the work, the human element remains crucial. Here, a technician performs a fine... To simulate the demanding environment of launch, we subject the combustion chamber to direct high-velocity flames, as you can see here. The rotational speed here is immense. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of RPM, a true testament to the advanced engineering of these blades. The automated system delivers consistent, high-quality welding across the engine's complex manifold. This precision is monitored closely by the technician. This highly detailed engine relies on these final electrical and sensor connections. The orange and black harnesses must be crimped meticulously to the junction point. The joining of these large engine components is a delicate process, demanding expert precision from the assembly team. This final torque check is a critical quality control step. The digital readout confirms the required 120. This is the Raptor engine a culmination of thousands of hours of design and testing. It stands ready for integration. The ignition sequence is flawless. The sheer power you witness now highlights the raw functionality of this finished engine. Great care is Terran to ensure the safe transport of our high value engines. The protective wrapping shields the delicate stainless steel components during transit. This grid represents a phenomenal concentration of power, essential for liftoff. This is the final inspection of the Super Heavy Booster's engine bay. As you can see, the sheer number of Raptor engines required for this stage is unprecedented. The Raptor engine is carefully transported across the factory floor for installation. It requires delicate and coordinated movement towards the main booster. Pre-installation check is critical. We need to verify the primary propellant manifold connection right here. Right. Ensuring final coordination before integration. We're now witnessing the simultaneous installation of the entire engine ring. The complexity of this maneuver is truly unprecedented. The multi-engine installation sequence requires absolute precision. We are now lowering the full ring of Raptor engine. The central engine cluster showcases the incredibly complex plumbing and electrical connections required for these gimbaled engines. This is where the final systems are connected. It requires precision and stamina. As technicians per fully assembled Super Heavy stage stands ready, the dense array of engine bells represents an unprecedented level of sheer power capacity. The fabrication from the fabrication heat diagonal heat shield tiles is entirely automated. This high tech process. As the hexagonal tiles enter the chamber, they face intense thermal curing. This high temperature environment is a with utmost efficiency and precision. The robotic arm precisely stacks the finished hexagonal heat tiles, preparing them for final installation. Here we see the application of the temporary internal thermal protection. This multi-layered insulation is carefully smoothed over the untiled sections and the rivet heads. The automated, systematic application of the insulation layer is critical. The robotic arm ensures precise placement of each hexagonal panel. 
As you can see, the thermal protection system is nearing completion. A large portion of the hull is this. The final inspection requires a meticulous bonding check. Each black hexagonal tile is tapped with a mallet. Forward weight of the brake assembly. The forward bulkhead air brake assembly requires meticulous precision. As the actuators engage... The branding of the Starship is a critical final step. Here we see the iconic SpaceX logo being applied to the work. We are witnessing a critical moment as the Starship upper stage is vertically lifted. This maneuver... The final assembly requires meticulous exterior safety checks. This high altitude technical work ensures... We are witnessing the final movement of the super heavy booster as it is transferred to the high bay for integration and final assembly. The nose cone, protected by its black thermal tiles, is now being carefully lowered. This is the final mating sequence. The delicate process of mating the two largest components. As the upper stage settles onto the booster, this complex, reusable, hydraulic quick disconnect mechanism secures the two stages. As the pistons engage, this is the fully stacked Starship and Super Heavy. At over 120 meters tall, the scale of the completed vehicle. A monumental achievement. The completion of this vehicle is a testament to the tireless effort of the entire team gathered here. A truly symbolic moment as the Starship exits the factory hangar for the very first time. The super heavy booster begins its final journey from the mega bay. This massive stage will soon be integrated at the launch complex. Itzo. The sheer scale of the Super Heavy Booster is difficult to comprehend until you see it on the move. We are witnessing the arrival of the Starship upper stage. It is now being carefully maneuvered by the massive gantry crane. The Super Heavy Booster arrives at its final resting place before flight, a testament to the grand scale of this engineering marvel against the sunset. This is the Chaucer or Chaucer's crane system, an innovative and incredibly powerful method for lifting the stages Allowing this marks the final ceiling of the launch mount. The protective launch mount cap is now being removed, a clear sign of imminent fueling. The massive launch tower crane, or Mechazilla, is now lifting the spacecraft for the final stacking maneuver. Here we see the crucial pre-flight check of the thrust vector control. The engines gimbal simultaneously, ensuring mobility for steering during ascent. The robotic arm precisely attaches the quick disconnect umbilical. This automated connection of the cryogenics. Standing, standing fully stacked on the pad, the Starship and Super Heavy represent the peak of human ingenuity. With the flight hardware fully stacked, the cryogenic propellant loading sequence commences, preparing the Starship for its monumental test flight. Frost forms on the Starship hull due to the super chilled propellants as the vehicle holds its breath awaiting the ignition sequence. All systems report nominal. The mission control team confirms all green lights for liftoff, preparing to unleash the power of the Raptor engines. The massive engine array roars to life in a controlled plume of steam, confirming the readiness of all 33 Raptor power plants. Ignition, the tremendous force of the super heavy booster rips free from the launch tower, pushing the entire stack skyward in a wall of flame. The rocket climbs, its 33 engines creating a powerful, sustained pillar of fire, propelling the vehicle. Ascending past the densest layers of the atmosphere, the engines continue their tireless burn, pushing the Starship closer to orbital velocity. Breaking free of the troposphere, the spacecraft accelerates toward the edge of space, leaving the planet's atmosphere behind. Stage separation complete. The Super Heavy booster begins its return trajectory while the Starship accelerates toward its orbital insertion point. The Starship successfully reaches orbit, navigating the vast emptiness of space on its journey toward the ultimate destination. Arriving at the precise deployment altitude, the payload bay opens, preparing to deploy the next generation of vital orbital infrastructure. With careful precision, the massive satellite array is released, extending its solar wings as it begins its mission above the Earth. Starship prepares for orbital rendezvous and docking with a deep space habitat practicing the critical maneuvers for long-duration missions. Finally, the Starship reaches its ultimate goal, navigating the Martian atmosphere, bringing humanity one- This new generation of spacecraft is capable of deploying large constellations of satellites, 
revolutionizing access to low Earth orbit. Critical in-orbit refueling and docking are necessary features to enable long-duration missions to the Moon and Mars. Starship's successful development is the crucial step toward establishing a permanent, self-sustaining human presence on Mars. From raw steel to deep space, this is the future of manufacturing and the power of human ingenuity.